one day you're gonna work. Fantastic. Hello and good morning. Welcome to your Daily Vlogs Nation. My name is Cody, also known as Just Two Eyes, and that's Graham. Something really stupid. Alright folks, this is a video about religion. Yeah, we all know about religion, right? Alright, I want to start off with the belief system. Each and every different belief in each and every different faith has come with a very huge price and that price is human life. It is an absolute mind-blowing shame that the human race has done this to themselves over the span of so many years, so many generations. And then the crazy amount of people that were and still are being segregated because of their belief or what they don't believe in. There are these people being cut out of their own families, cut out from their friends, cut out from work, and even from their own church, even though they're a devout believer, but just because they do it a different way. Next, I want to talk about this all-knowing guy. Who the fuck exactly does he think he is, if he's even there, or she, or it, or them, or whatever? I mean, like, in all seriousness, to me, this kind of seems like a game from the point of view that I can understand at least of this God or whoever you believe. Created the heaven and the earth, mankind and everything else and for some strange reason gave us free will to think and do whatever we please. And then set up these events, items, people and places just to test us to see if we can actually believe in him with subtle suggestions. That is pretty fucking arrogant in my humblest opinion. Oh, I know I'm pissing a lot of people off. Like, prime example, the warden in the cage with the rest of us, the devil, Satan, Lucifer, or whatever else they call him in any other belief. You know, that guy. You know that guy. That guy. Say, bitch, eat the fruit. Do it. Is it really that important? Do you really need our admiration that bad? Mr. Creator of all things and can see all and do all and be all and know what has to come and know what will be and everything else like that. Are you really that egotistical that you, you know, you need to string us along to make us believe that bad? That you would fuck our lives so deeply. You would give us life, give us breath, raise us up in your image, and then throw in some dick and some other consequences and situations just to what? Fuck with us to see if we can make it? What? And no, I haven't gotten in too deep with every single religion out there, so I really don't know much about many others, but I know quite a lot about this one. And from the way I see it, he's an egotistical, lonely son of a bitch. Pardon my French. I wonder how many people stop watching the video by now. And then when people say you should just believe, even though there's no fact, there's no evidence, there's no hard proof, there's nothing to see or grasp or hold on to, but you want me to believe in that anyway. Why? Why should I believe in something that does this? Now I want to talk about the similarities between the denominations. They are incredibly similar to say so much terrible shit has happened between, you know, the faction. And no matter what religion I've heard about or listened to or checked out or read up on or anything like that, the message is pretty simple and Ellen said it best. Be kind to one another. That is basically the gist of religion in general. 
That's why I say it's very simple. It is incredibly simple that that is the main goal and message. Be kind to one another. Finally, let's talk about the good book itself. Yes, I've read the Bible. I know the Bible. I like the Bible. It is it is some good shit. I'm not gonna lie. It is some good shit. The stories are intriguing. They're entertaining. Good character development. Good plot twists. Great story. You know, the overarching theme is like rained and trickled in so you won't forget, you know, what's supposed to happen and what the man going on for this is this is good they should make this into a movie or at least a couple of movies because it good stuff and i know i've been talking a lot of shit about religion and the bible and what people believe in and how things go in the world but you know what i take a lot from the bible and apply it to my own life why because for some reason a lot of people have forgotten a lot of people have forgotten that is the message of the Bible and the stories and the characters and what they go through that should empower you through your life to make you a stronger, better, kinder person where you can be honest with people and nice to people. That's what I took from the Bible. Not the facade of bullshit that a lot of people put up to pretend that they're this kind and nice and sweet person, but as soon as you think a different way, they will cast you clean the fuck out. And I wouldn't do that to anybody. No, if you want to believe whatever you want to believe in, go ahead. You have your opinions, you have your thoughts, you have your own facts. That's what you want to do, that's what you do. As long as you're still kind to me, I'm kind to you. Treat others how you want to be treated, right? But that'll be that. So if you like what I'm doing, you want to see what else I'm doing, like, share, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think, all right? I'm always interested to know. So, yeah. I don't know what to tell you.